OpenDNS, in my opinion, is the best content filtering system for your network. It works in a f many ways to make your network safer, more secure, and reliable. But basically what OpenDNS is, is instead of using the DNS servers that your ISP provides, they use, you can set it up so it uses the OpenDNS servers, which increase your speed. Uh, I haven't really noticed anything about that, but they used to advertise that it increases your speed, out, just a little bit at least. Uh, but if there's any benefits, it, you might as well have it. But it also makes your network safer and more secure, uh, and really gives you a lot more control over what you allow. So industry leading web content filtering, anti-phishing, DNS infrastructure navigation services. So let's just go over to learn more just so we can get some more information. And uh, we'll go to the home network. It gives you parental controls, faster, more reliable internet because it rids your houses of annoying intermediate internet outages. Switch to open DNS and immediately notice a faster, more reliable internet experience. Join the millions who've already unbundled their DNS service from their ISP's internet connection. It also gives you another layer of phishing protection, gives you some customization, some shortcuts, some typo corrections. So if you type google.cm or different websites.cm instead of com, it'll go ahead and fix that for you. Also shortcuts, so you can set that up to make your life easier. So how do you set it up? Just go to, just go to opendns.com slash start, and you can set it up on your computer, on your router or your DNS server, probably you're going to either use computer or router. I recommend using your router because then you have control over the entire network, any device that connects to it, even if it's just something small like an iPod Touch or a netbook or somebody comes to visit and they just want to connect their machine to your network. Instead of having to worry about uh, just protecting those new additions to your network, you can do it router side and it makes everything easier. So we're going to go to the dashboard and I'm just going to walk you through some of the features. So first you can look, you have stats. I don't have these set up I believe just because I don't need them. Yeah, I have them enabled, <laughs> whatever, but you can definitely enable them and basically it'll just give you some insight into your network's activity. And now network, you can have multiple networks. So if you were the person who knows how to manage a network and you, you could do this for multiple different people and have different networks, have different labels for them, and you can have the inter the IP address here, uh, and you can also download a tool that makes sure if you have a dynamically changing IP address, OpenDNS will be updated with that. So you can have multiple different IP addresses, different networks. So support, setting shortcuts, my info. I want to show you shortcuts first. Basically it allows you to type in little things that will bring up a website. So youtube.com slash the revived one is long, but I can open up a new tab, just type YT, and it'll take a little bit longer I've noticed than just typing in the full thing, but if you're working with multiple tabs it's really good, and eventually it'll load up the shortcut. This is actually particularly long, I'm not exactly sure why. Uh, but eventually it loads there. Usually it's faster than that, I can say. I'm not sure why it was that slow for this demo. But of course, when I'm trying to show you something, it bugs out a little bit. But you can have as many shortcuts as you want, I believe. And it's just up to your personal preference. You can either have none, you can have some, you can have a lot just to speed up your day. And again, computer to computer, if it's connected to the network and you have the setup router side, you know, you're going to have those shortcuts, which makes it easier to transition from net from computer to computer and settings. This is probably the biggest section that I use. So content filtering, like I said, this is the best content filtering system I have found because it works router side and it gives you a lot of control. So you can just do uh, either none, which is kind of silly to do that, minimal, which will just protect against phishing, low, which will protect against pornography and phishing, moderate will protect against all adult related sites and illegal activity, and then high will protect against all adult related sites, legal activity, social networking sites, video sharing sites, and general time wasters. So high is a little bit too extreme. I, I put mine at moderate, but you can put it wherever you want. And what's cool is they also have customized. So you can customize each level. So let's say you wanted to start off from moderate, but you wanted to make some modifications. So let's say you wanted to have adware on your site, uh, you, on your network. You could uncheck it, and then you can have adware sites on your network. And of course, there's many other different things. And if you go down here to manage individual domains, sometimes you don't want to necessarily block an entire category, or you want to block an entire category minus one particular site. 
So for for something that I've used, uh, ebates.com is something that for some reason was blocked by OpenDNS, but somebody on my network needed to access it. Uh, they use it for whatever. I don't even know what it is. But you can go ahead and add a domain, never block, start typing it in, and you're good to go. And it also allows you to always block. So even if you change the security settings on your on your network, or you didn't want to necessarily block an entire category, but you wanted to block a particular website, you could go ahead and always block a particular website on that network. And again, if you install this router side, it'll work on everything that connects to your network. So even in somebody else's iPod Touch or somebody else's laptop, uh, they just go ahead and connect, but they'll still have to abide by these rules, I suppose. So we can go to customization. gives you a little bit more choices, so you can use a different image on blocked websites, uh, and you can change the message depending on what it is, what you want. Stats and logos. Here's where you can enable stats and logs, not logos, excuse me. And you could also purge it if you didn't want that data there. And advanced settings. So you can do the smart cache, dynamic IP update, domain type, so like I said, CMO. So if you're typing in google.cmo instead of google.com, it'll change it, and I'll give you a demo of that. Google.cmo. I guess I'm just having a little bit of internet slowdown, but just general, that happens. Sometimes everybody experiences it, but there you go. It fixed it. And you could do suspicious responses, so you can block internal IP addresses because uh, when enabled, DNS responses containing IP addresses listed in RFC 1918 will be filtered out. This helps prevent DNS rebinding attacks. So if you want to get some extra security, that's another layer, as well as phishing, botnet protection, just some additional layers like browsers, for instance, they have phishing protection. So if you have phishing protection on your individual browser on each machine, as well as a security suite, and as well as you know stuff on your router besides just the fir the firewall that's on most routers then you also have these settings for open dns it really definitely protects it and there's really no reason not to do this because again open dns is a free service that is much easy that is very easy to set up and basically there's no reason not to have it so I'm Michael Sherlock from youtube.com slash the revived one and michaelsherlock.com hope you liked my walkthrough of open dns and I hope uh, this video convinces you that it's time to get open DNS running on computers on your network or your router, everything on your network. Take care.